name's Lindy. I've been living in France for the past four years or so, and I've lived in big cities to smaller towns, different regions in France, and today I thought I would tell you about how I found housing living in Paris. So I currently live just on the outside of Paris, about 20 minutes into the city center. I live in a homestay, which means I rent a room, I have access to the kitchen, I have my own bathroom, my own room. So first off, finding housing in Paris can be super tricky and quite expensive, so here are some tips I have on how you can find housing. So before coming to Paris, I recommend renting rather an Airbnb, staying with a friend, or finding a spot in a hostel, just something while you're searching for your own apartment. A big tip, do not send money in advance for any sort of housing. A, the apartment could be nothing like the photos you see, it could be damages, all that, or B, it could just not even exist. <laughs> That's like a major scamming opportunity in Paris and bigger cities, is foreigners will send money in advance and then not have an actual apartment when they get here. So like I said, I recommend renting an Airbnb or something just while you begin your search for an apartment just for a few weeks or up to a month, however much time you might need. So some different suggestions. I recommend joining Facebook groups for the arrondissement that you want to live in. People will post opportunities. You can also post if you're looking for a roommate. If you are a younger student, Cruz might be an option for you. It's student housing. different websites. There's Le Bon Coin, which is like France's Craigslist. A lot of people post there. It's a great resource. Just know that because people post there a lot, usually the postings go super quick. So there will be like 20 people for one posting. So just know that, but a lot of people have found apartments that way. I have one of my friends who found an apartment that way. <music> As a foreigner that can be a little bit tricky finding an apartment is having a garon, which is a French person who basically financially vouches for you. A workaround though is a program called Visa. It is the French government co-signing or vouching for you on your apartment. You fill it out online and send in your work contract and there you go, the French government is vouching for you financially. <music> site which I used is called Room La La. It's pretty similar to Airbnb but for long-term stays. You can browse different apartment offerings, see which ones you like. Sometimes there'll be like roommates, some like homestays, like just kind of depends what you're looking for. And for me, I messaged them, set up a visit, liked the apartment, and ended up signing and moving in shortly after. <music> that's pretty important is knowing what you want but also being flexible. So know like are you open to having roommates? What's your budget? Are there some like absolute no's? So know what you're looking for but also being open to what's actually available. Do you already know somebody in Paris or in the city you're trying to move to in France? That could also be another resource. Maybe they know of a friend who's looking for a roommate or is about to leave and wants somebody to take their apartment. That could also be a good resource. As for costs for rent, expect to pay between really 500 and that's kind of low, like 550 to up to a thousand euros for a studio or a shared apartment with a roommate, depending on what you're looking for, what you require in an apartment. Honestly, if you don't have money saved up or you don't have a job that can financially support you, Paris might not be your best option, but there are some workarounds. If you still want to be close to Paris, a lot of people will live on the outskirts so they have a more calm everyday lifestyle, but then they could always take the RER, the metro system, into the Paris city center. Some people do that to commute to work every day and you're there within like an hour or less usually. It is a cheaper option. 
Something else that could help you financially is something called CAF. It is government assistance financially. Depending on your situation, your income, all of that, that factors into how much financial aid you could receive. It really could range between like 50 euros to 200 euros. I know I did this a few years ago when I was living in a different town. It was very helpful for my low salary at the time. watch this and you seem a little discouraged, please don't. Paris might not financially be an option, but you still have so many wonderful places to live in France. Plus, there's the train and transportation systems in France, which makes it super easy to travel. So if you have a weekend or holiday break, you can easily visit Paris and discover the city. And personally, <laughs> I prefer other cities in France. I think you're able to meet more people, use your French more often, and still able to travel and just enjoy life. So rather you're living in Paris and a different city region in France, you still have so many wonderful cities to discover. And just remember no matter where you are, it's up to you to make the experience. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. If you have any other questions about housing, even different regions in France, again, I've lived in several regions and if you haven't noticed, I'm kind of in love with France. So please let me know any questions below. More videos coming soon. Thanks so much for watching. Bisous!